Hi friends, we have Dr. Matthias from Germany, from EMAC Germany with us. He is the head of, chief of sales and service of EMAC Global. Right. And we are lucky to have him today at the EMAC technology events uh, at uh, Bangalore. EMAC, as you told that it is more than 100 years, the company. Yeah, know. right. We have a strong and big history. Uh, everybody knows EMAC in the world. We are a global company. We are focusing on our history, we are focusing on our future, uh, but we have still our German mindset uh, from our founders, right? So actually I know that EMAG is there in India for more than 10 years. Yes, right. But from the beginning itself, uh, I used to talk to people in EMAG earlier times. So they had a focus on India on future. Yeah. It is not like that they would just want to come and sell some machines. Yes. That was not the thought process of EMAG in the beginning. So over the last 10 years, how EMAG India's growth is there when you see from the global angle? Yeah, from my perspective, uh, here now we do have a really strong independent team already in India in consideration of sales, service, which is very important, and a growing engineering. Um, our target in India is to increase our level of independency because the market expects speed, short reaction times, uh, capability, and uh, this is the current situation and this is the future and coming to the history uh, without successful installations, without a growing installed base inside the Indian market with new customers, new applications, new machines it would be impossible to have now such a strong base already here in India um, and uh, means we do have more than 550 machines in India running therefore we have a strong team to support our customers and this is our base for the future, which is very important. Journey what uh, EMAG India have taken here in India. Now you came to a position where that you know you have a very strong, as you told that, an independent team, a lot of machines working uh, yeah. in different places. Yeah. But which are those major applications, major industries you are targeting right now? Well, for example, here here we see an, an complete e-drive as a cut gearbox cutted from a German uh, OEM. And this is, for example, for us generally as EMAC, a very important part, engine, gearboxes. This is where EMAC is strong and especially the EV business, which is growing globally, which is growing in India as well, is a key for us. And we have a lot of interesting applications where uh, tolerances, quality are very important, very tight and Indian customers need 100% quality, 100% cycle time and that's the reason why they have trust in EMAC and that's the reason why we are here and increase our installed base continuously. But this for example is, uh, is globally and in India very important to support regarding air pollution reduction, to support other stuff and here we are really strong with very competitive solutions, yes. So I am very sure that when you are, you are very sure that you would like to go into very specific market. It is yes. not like that you are looking at all the machines. Yes, right. So you are looking at a very specific market yes. where people are looking at very precise machining or yes. very complex machining, right? Exactly, yes. So now you are also telling that electric vehicle, this this is an electric vehicle part, right? Right, this one. yes. So this is the future. Uh, right. what you're looking at. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is one one example which will be the future and which will grow continuously in India and globally. And uh, another area, for example, is uh, industrial gearboxes. You know, here we have gears in a non-automotive industrial gearbox as well. We have gears with more and more increasing quality stuff. Uh, and this is as well a uh, very interesting market for us where we have very competitive solutions. At the end, it's as you said, EMAC is not, we don't have the mindset that we want to sell 10,000 machines for every customer, reasonable customer in India. For sure this is our target at the end, but uh, when we, we have always to consider our competition, Yeah, we have local competition in India and uh, a price for a turning machine produced in India has a different price and cost level against or compared to our machine. So we always need to consider where are our markets, where are our applications, where is our customer base, where do we get the feedback, the positive feedback of the customer, the interest and at the end the PO. 
and this is the balance what we need and if we consider uh, our competition we have in India, we have in China, we have coming from Japan which is strong but we have a strong position already in the market, we want to increase it, the potential is here no doubt, the machines, the solutions we have as well, so this is our strategy. So, Focusing on industry areas, right? Yeah, so that is what I got it. So if you have any complex machining, if you are not able to achieve certain tolerances, if you are not able to achieve certain uh, finish, yes. that is when you should right. get in touch with EMAC. Right. And they have all those solutions when it comes to critical machining. I want to address one example which was very interesting, the former meetings we had with different customers. Such a, a gear here in such an e-drive, yeah. We need uh, hard turning and the uh, inner uh, diameter needs to be grinded somehow, sometimes, yes. Typically you use two different machines, so you have two different setups, you lose tolerances in between, yeah. Clamping one, clamping two. We have, for example, one machine where we have both processes in one machine. Uh, then we reach higher qualities, we reach faster cycle times and this is an example where typically you use two machines, with our solution it's possible in one machine and this is for example one very positive and important point which is very interesting for the market. I think that is saving of money Right. from two machines to one machine and right. also the process which gives you a long term saving. Right, absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Mathias, for your kind time. Thank and, you. And uh, we wish you all the very best for India. Thank you very much.